top card on the East Coast will be here next Saturday night. Curtis Thompson. He's a real dandy. you like him. and gentlemen, the first event this evening will be one fall, introducing in this corner 238 pounds, the New Jersey stud, Scotty the Body, and his beautiful valet, Veronica, as Scotty says. His opponent in this corner, 270 pounds, from Chicago, Great wrestler, Jeff Warner. Jeff Warner. Jeff Warner, as you may know by now, was voted the Rookie of the Year 1989 by WrestleMedia fan poll. The right readers of WrestleMedia voted him that in a banquet a couple of weeks ago in Gresham. Well, we got Scotty the Body and Jeff Warner. Boy, I wish you could have been here tonight to see those girls, Veronica and Ginger, going at it. We had hair flying all over the place. We had uh, apparel flying all over. And those girls, and they both took a pretty good beating in there. The winner, as uh, declared by uh, referee Sandy Barr, was Ginger. But I think that's only because uh, Veronica took a hike with uh, Scotty the Body. <laughs> Boy, they were really, really getting with it. All right, Scotty, the body backs up into uh, referee Sandy Barr and says, wait a minute, you're in the my corner. And we are underway. Another reminder, next Saturday night, Curtis Thompson. Well, I guess this guy has really been making waves on the East Coast. He's going to come out here and see what he can do. Curtis Thompson will be here next Saturday night. Ah, oh, hair pulled by. Come on, Scotty. He calls himself the uh, professional wrestling expert. I don't think the experts resort to pulling hair. Now, ah, He's not going to, uh, I tell you, he's going to come out last in a test of, what is this now? Here comes Jonathan Holliday out here. To, he did this last Saturday night when uh, Jeff Warner was fighting. Holliday is out here all dressed in pink. He's got his little umbrella. He got, a, oh, a precious little hat on. What is this? Well, there he is. There he is right there, Jonathan Holliday. He has he has declared Jeff Warner his friend. Jeff Warner has doesn't want anything to do with this with this clown. I mean he, he he's he's over there he's over there cheering, actually cheering for Jeff Warner. He's sitting over there at ringside, but Jeff Warner he doesn't need a fan like that. He doesn't want a fan like that. I mean this is just a. a a one fan thing going there with Jonathan Holiday and Jeff Warner. Well, Warner has got Scotty the body where he wants him, but this is going to be another distraction. You can bet on this because last week it distracted Warner. Warner is kind of embarrassed by this. The fact that he's got somebody like Jonathan Holiday sitting over here cheering for him, rooting for him. <laughs> At one point, I think referee Sandy Bart says, Is that your friend? He said, Mike, what are you talking? No. Get him out of here. He's not. 
He's not my friend. I didn't ask him out here. I don't want to be around this guy. Uh, Jonathan Holiday leading the he's leading the crowd in cheering for uh, Jeff Warner. Oh boy, I tell you, things are getting strange here at the House of Action. But you got to come on down here and be a part of this. Boy, it's exciting. You get caught up in the excitement. Lonnie Main used to say there's excitement in the air, and boy, there really is all over the House of Action. Uh, Warner missed, but oh, Scotty the body did not. Warner goes down to his knees. Boy, he took a hard smash from Scotty the body. And there goes Scott. Oh, that should be, I'll tell you, that, that is a criminal move right there. You can choke a man, you can break his larynx. This, that is a terrible move by Scotty the body. Scotty coming off the top rope, the flying drop kick. Warner is down. One, two, no. Warner is an extremely powerful man. And that's one of the reasons that Jonathan Holiday likes him. He says he's big, he's strong, he's handsome. That's right, Holiday's words. I mean, this, this guy is something else. Well, Scotty the body is something else, and he's driving Warner right into that guardrail. That's an, that is a metal guardrail, and he just came crashing down on the back of Warner, driving Warner's throat and chin into that guardrail. Warner has got to be dazed right now. Man, he is. He opens his eyes, and what does he see? He sees Jonathan Holliday in his pink tutu. Uh, oh, what a nightmare that would be. Eh? There's a flying bear by Scotty the Body. Scotty the Body driving that knee down into the forehead, just burning the forehead of Jeff Warner. Warner kicks out. We're just getting started here at the House of Action. If you just tuned in, well, oh, don't go away. We have got a ton of action for you tonight. Lots of news, lots of interviews. Things that you have got to be ready for. <laughs> I don't know if you can really be ready for the Portland Sports Arena, but let's see. What, oh, hard smash. I don't think Warner was ready for that by Scotty the Body. In Scotty's corner, of course, he's got the lovely Veronica. And in Jeff's corner, he's got the lovely Jonathan Holiday. Scotty wants Veronica in his corner. Warner wants no part of Jonathan Holiday in his corner or anywhere else. Uh, Holiday, Holiday's out there with that umbrella again. I like he's... Man, I, I, I don't know. This guy really has a crush on uh, Jeff Warner. He's yelling at Warner, cheering him on, shouting encouragement, getting the crowd... <laughs> he's getting the fan support behind Jeff Warner. He claims that he's Warner's biggest fan. Well, that... That may be. If Warner has the president of a fan club, it's probably Jonathan Holiday. But uh, Warner would not want that to get around. Sandy Barr is telling uh, Holiday, just go back and sit down. Mind you. Next Saturday night, as we mentioned at the top of the program, will be your last chance to see the Southern Rockers in action. Next Saturday night, their last night at the House of Action, because after that, they leave on their world tour. They want to take the tag team championship belts on the world tour with them. Tonight, they're going after those belts. And that's what they're at. I mean, that's the bottom line. They want to win those belts back and take them on the world tour with them. But the big news is that next Saturday night, the last chance you're going to have to see them, and it is going to be Party City all over this place next Saturday night. Bill Prescott from KGON is here tonight. He's going to be here next Saturday night. He's their manager. He's got to be here. Down goes Scotty. Down goes Scotty again. Ran into a building. And over goes Warner. And look out. Scotty misses with a haymaker. But Warner didn't. He caught Scotty right on his body. Yes, sir. Caught him right on the chops, I think. Here goes a whip. Into the ropes goes Scotty. The body. Look at that power body slam by Jeff Warner. Finish him off. What's he doing? He's not finishing him off. He could have finished him off. He, uh, what a power body slam that was by Warner. Do it again. One more time. Instant replay. No. Uh, Scotty was kind of ready for that, and everything just kind of fell apart. Now Warner goes for the pin. One, two, too late. Too late. He should have gone for the pin when he had Scotty down after that power body slam. That was a tremendous slam by Jeff Warner. There goes Scotty into the turnbuckle, and there's Jonathan Holliday. Oh, man, Warner. Well, he pulverized the turnbuckle. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Scotty the body grabbed the umbrella out of the hand of Jeff Warner. Sandy Barr is calling a disqualification.
Guy to the body grabbed that umbrella from Holiday. Uh, Don gonna know it. Into the ropes goes Warner. Oh, Scotty missed. And Warner now comes back. A hard forearm smash. Warner has already won this match by disqualification. They rang the bell. Down goes Scotty. Here comes Warner. Oh, hard tackle. And out goes the referee. And out goes Scotty. Man, Warner hit both of them. Warner hit Scotty the body. Scotty hit the referee Sandy Barr. They both went out of the ring. And there's Holiday in there to raise the hand of Jeff Warner. Holiday looks around. I mean, Warner looks around. Get out of here. Get out of here. Crying out now. He's going to. Oh, he's going to chase Holiday with the umbrella. <laughs> well, Holiday's got a chaser there. And we'll be right back with more after this timeout. 